uh, we are now moving into advertising and I give you an understanding what advertising um, is, how an ad is structured and where you can use advertising and how you structure your ad. So I hope you are seeing my screen where I have prepared something for you to be a little bit easier to understand, where you now can follow me along and now see what an advertising is. I am starting out with Facebook advertising because we know Facebook platform is the easiest to understand, but also within an ad itself, it doesn't need to be Facebook. In advertising itself, you can um, apply all the principles you see today to different platforms, to Google advertising, to YouTube advertising, if you run uh, Instagram ads, TikTok, a snapshot, it doesn't matter. The principles for an advertising, it is still the same. So, but for you to better understand, and if you want to follow along, you can do this within Facebook. So you will see what I'm talking about and you will easy recognize what I'm talking about. When we are going into Google uh, advertising, it is structured a little bit. So when you want to start with Facebook advertising or with advertising in general, a good start is Facebook. So it gives you a better understanding what you are doing and also is the most affordable because now when we are talking Google and YouTube, you have to spend some good money on there as well. So let's jump right into an advert advertising itself within Facebook has three levels. So you want to understand the levels and that means also you need to understand your customer journey where they are going to. So our first level within our uh, advertising is the objective. What do you want to the platform here in our case, it is Facebook. What do you want Facebook to do? What do you want Google to do? What do you want YouTube to do? So you want to understand before you running any advertising, what do you want to get out of the platform? Do you want leads? Do you want keyword um, sign up? Do you want views? So let's stay in Facebook that I don't confuse you too much. Again, the principles are the same. So with Facebook, what do you want Facebook for you to do? We have different levels. We have branding, we have reach, we have traffic, we do have um, engagement, we do have video views, we have messenger and we have conversion. So what do you want? You also want to understand what reach and branding is doing for you. You want to understand what conversion and traffic is doing for you. You want to understand lead generation. That is actually very easy to understand. You want to understand the video views, what video views can do for you. That's what I did last week and the week before where we went in the videos you could do and now what you want to do with the videos where you now go in and collect your video views and now you are easily to build your audiences and now with your audiences you can go into uh, Facebook advertising as well where you now can build your audience but you need to understand what you want out of Facebook. So different uh, levels and different objectives are available for you. And I will go in a little bit deeper. The second level within our Facebook advertising is our ad set. Our ad set is all about targeting, where we pull in our audiences, where we can build new audiences, but also our budget. So where we tell, okay, Facebook, if I have this amount available, now give me whatever you want, video views, lead generation, conversion, traffic, whatever you want, that is where you get into budgeting. And that is your second ad set level. Here you get into targeting to what people you want to speak. You have demographics available. You have your custom audiences available. You have 
you have a new audience available. So there are certain levels you can select where your ad will be shown. Should it be on every platform, Instagram or Facebook? Do you want it in articles and videos? So you have different sets in there as well, where you can make a choice and a selection for different objective, what you want to get out of Facebook. And then we have our creative. This is our level number three, where we now build our sales copy and build our media format. Our sales copy, it's something what we are pushing on, what we are saying so that we can speak to the consumer where we are offering something in return for them to provide us their name, number and email. And the media form we are choosing, we have available videos and we do have available slideshows, static advertising, so different levels as where as they are in. So that is the core of an advertising and those principles apply all over different platforms. When you understand what you want to get out of Facebook, who to who you want to speak, who you want to target with your Facebook advertising, and then you put your sales copy into place and your at creative, maybe a video or just a static image. So let's go into, oh, that's the, the short form. Let's see. Yeah. So that is the short form. I, yeah. So within our objective level, now let's, let's see if I find the different slide in here so that you, you know what, we could actually jump quickly into Facebook. And then I will give you each objective directly in Facebook. So it's not on a slideshow. And that's where we are going in. We go into our business manager where we are now. Let me stop the screen so that I. All right, let me go in here. Let's get in our test account. And now I'm jumping through with you what each level is within your advertising. So <clears throat> especially you, we are all in real estate, right? You always, so let me reshare my screen again. You want to make sure All right, so I hope you see my screen. Now you want to make sure that is our objectives right in here. This is our first step where we have to choose what do I want out of Facebook? Do I want brand awareness? Do I want reach? That is where you put videos out there or whatever you want to do, especially we are using rich campaigns where we are now using videos. And now I, with reach, I am able to put those videos in a time frame where I can show that same video to the same people in a certain time frame. So let me just go in and let me show what I mean. I chose reach. And now within reach, I am able to select everything I want to do. So you are in beyond real estate. We always need to check our fair housing. So make sure you check this one. Otherwise, your advertising will not be approved. And now I choose the reach. And now within reach, I am able to let Facebook determine how many times I want that advertising in front of my audience. For this, I am going down in here in reach. And now I am able to tell Facebook right in here how many times I want that video to be shown. So here I can determine I usually choose two times. Impression is the times how many 
time somebody sees my advertising or my uh, my my video and I choose in four days. That means that they will see my advertising two times in four days. Do I want to do it? No. You know what? I will put it four times in four days. So that means now that they will see every day my advertising. So I want to keep in mind of people. Even if you do advertising and you received a lead, you want to stay in front of your audience so that they don't forget that they signed up with you. And that's why it's very, very handy when you are doing videos and videos are very, very affordable. Now we can push educational videos in front of our audience. Let's say all the leads that have signed up already, I will put a reach campaign in front of them. So after they signed up, now they are able to see more videos, educational videos, what we are doing, why we are doing, how we do something. So you have different options available to you. That's you can do within reach. So let's go back to the reach come uh, to in general. Let's, let's get that out so that we are staying within our objective. That's what we are doing with reach. With traffic and conversion, you want to make sure that you have landing pages outside of Facebook. So a landing page, it's only one page with one option and nothing more. Do not have different links on it for people to click because when you send them over, the only thing is you give them an offer and they have to the option to sign in or go away. Don't give them another choice to look for properties, search for properties. That is a mistake we are seeing. And then people are complaining, my landing pages are not converting. One landing page, one reason, one offer, give me your email, name and phone number, and I will get you a return that so that is a landing page. So don't give them different option and let them know, don't put different links on it. So make your landing pages concurrent with your offer so that people, what you put in front, they also will get on your landing page. So they should work with each other. Now with engagement, you can choose engagement for more likes, I would not recommend you are alone running in an engagement. It doesn't bring you anything because even if people, if you buy likes and we are seeing a lot of people saying you need thousands of likes and that is not the case. Even when you buy likes and nobody is engaging with your content, that likes are garbage. You will be penalized by Facebook because now they are not interacting with you. So you want the best thing is organic likes where now they subscribe to your page and now they are starting engagement. You want engagement on your page. So I would not recommend to run only an engagement. What we are doing, we are taking the engagement campaign and protecting our advertising where we now running together with traffic and engagement where we are using our engagement, our like campaign to protect our uh, campaign and traffic where we are taking an old uh, engagement where we know we had good engagement. Now we can take that engagement and put it into our traffic campaign. We never work with apps, so I don't, I don't have anything to do about with apps. And now we are going in our video view campaign, where with the video view, you put out in video and you collect the views. A good video view campaign is still between two and eight cents per view. So we are still seeing two cents video views. So we still get good numbers because a lot of people are online and looking online. 
again, last week and two weeks ago, I uh, let you know that, especially with video views, it is very, very easy for you to build your campaigns. I showed you last week how you can build it and how you use video views for it. Then we have our lead generation. Lead generation, the objectives gives me the option to generate leads, give me your name, number, and email, and everything stays within Facebook. So Facebook has their own lead generation form, their own landing page within Facebook. And it's very, very easy, especially when you start out to build this within Facebook. Facebook actually doesn't like when you send out traffic, you will pay more when you are getting traffic and conversion. Also, but the leads are a little bit better quality. So when you are generating leads within Facebook, so if you are looking for costs, yes, you will generate good leads. You can ask a question, a more question than name, number and emails and qualify your leads so that they are a little higher quality than just name, number and email. With messages, we can use a messenger bot. So where you now have have within messenger bot a guided conversation within your messages so they will opt in and automatically subscribe to your messenger bot and now you have a guided conversation and ask certain question within your messenger bot and conversion again we are sending uh, uh, out traffic or we sending leads or people out to our landing page where we are now talking about conversion you need your pixel set up and you need to choose what uh, within conversion and traffic what you want to do you want page views you want leads you want people to sign up so now we are talking about pixels and how we isolate where the pixels so that we know exactly where our leads are located that is probably a little bit too complicated when you are starting out starting out is good with a reach campaign video view campaign and lead generation. If you are familiar with messenger bot and have your messenger bot set up, certainly you can use messenger bot as well so that you are generating the leads within your messenger bot. So that is the objective reason where you now tell Facebook, hey, Facebook, I want X, I want reach, I want traffic, I want engagement, I want leads, I want video views. So when you are building your Facebook advertising or your fully structured campaign, so you know a fully structured campaign is a little bit more than your Facebook ad. So that is the objective here. You are telling Facebook what you want to do so let's do lead generation because i know many of you guys want leads so lead generation is everybody comes in in the funnel up here so they come in first in there and now we are going in to the next where we are now going into our ad set within our ad set we are choosing the page we want to run our advertising here we are running our budgets you can choose a lifetime budget or you can do a daily budget so there are certain rules to it with your budgeting we recommend a budget of between three and five hundred dollars a month or at least a daily budget around $15, 15 to $20. It all depends where you are situated, how much advertisers are running advertising. So more competition, the higher your advertising. So that is your ad spend in here. We can now go into our audiences and pull out the audiences we want to speak to. So we can create a new audiences where we are now going into locations. You can now put in your city in here, or you simply take an existing audience where you now remember last week, we built up our audiences. Now we can 
pull in our audiences in here. We can pull our lookalike audience. For this account, I have not built one. They would show up here. Or a custom audience, we are going in here. If you are building out your audiences, now you can go in here, put in your city, and then you will be able to go 15 miles around your city. And then you are able to choose some certain demographics if they uh, what they are interested in. And again, that comes to it how well you know the audience you want to speak to. Most of you want real estate leads, so you can pull in based on uh, 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 people that are interested in Zillow and Realtor.com, house hunting, uh, first time home buyers. So Facebook gives you that option to pull up here. You will not be able to uh, be uh, to pull it in by um, by job title or by employment because again we are in the special housing at category so that will facebook not allow you but you will be able to put the demographics into place when they are interested in something and that is not only in uh, facebook as well within google advertising and youtube advertising you have to agree to not discriminate so they have the same rules in place that you are higher and will not discriminate in facebook in and in google they you go to an advertising approval so as well and you need to make sure that you are not being discriminatory in housing so i told you it is all the rules same the same principle apply. The platforms may look different, but if you understand what an advertising is and what, how to structure it, you can use that same principle all over your platforms. You need to know what you want out of the platform. You need to know to who you want to speak to, what audience you want to, and then you need to know your uh, offer you want to put out and the, the design you want to put out. So here we have our targeting and now we are also are able to select placements. You can do placements if you want them all over. So what we are usually doing when we are running lead generation, we are only going into feeds Instagram and Facebook feeds and even with Instagram, we are very, very selective because in Instagram, it is complicated you uh, to fill out a lead form at all. So you want to uh, make sure what advertising you are running. If you want just views, then Instagram is good for leads. We are usually staying with Facebook feeds. And when we are running advertising on videos, now we can include video feeds, we can include stories, story feeds. So, and you need to know about the uh, sizes of the videos. Different platforms have different sizes. So you can do that in here. And then we are moving forward to our advertising to our third level where we are now putting our creatives into place where we are able again choosing our facebook page and then we can include our instagram account if you want to and then we can you don't need an instagram account so you can use a selected page or um, because this is my uh, test account, you are now able to advertise on Instagram, even you don't have an Instagram account. So that is now for a few months available before you needed an Instagram account. Now you just uh, select the page and then you are able to advertise on Instagram as well. So here we are creating our advertising 
or if you want to, you can now as well use an existing post, especially with video views, you can here use an existing post and pull up that is existing post. For today, we are creating our advertising where we are now have our pictures into place, you can uh, edit it, you can change your media, you can turn on a video, you can put in a new picture, whatever you want to do, you want in picture what stops the the feed or that everybody that your audience you want them to stop, you want them to pay attention, you want them to interrupt in what they are doing so like you see my page my picture on here it's the most wrong picture nobody is interested in me or what i have to offer most likely nobody will stop so you want to think about how when you speak to buyer or sellers they don't want to see your face they want to see something that is interesting to them where they are in their customer journey with facebook we know they are early on in the customer journey so maybe you want to um, to show them inside of uh, houses you want to do it evergreen so meaning that you want to be specific on houses but you could showcase different houses especially when you don't have any listings out there you own or you don't have something to advertise now you can go uh, there are websites available where you can download uh, houses you can go into your community and take a few pictures from different houses i would do it like in a community picture and then uh, explain different house sizes so make sure that you are um when you want to take somebody else's house that you are not the listing agent get the permission first i know many are saying get uh, put it out and ask for forgiveness later it's depending how you are running your business if you are comfortable with this go ahead if not ask for permission so you always want to make sure how you in your realtor community as well be perceived you don't want to step on somebody's toes because you will most likely you do business with all other realtors and especially when you are taking somebody else's listing and do advertising on it it can get you in some trouble so that's where you can take photos that are uh, uh, not copyrighted they are nice photos out there just look for the type of houses that are in your area so that they are fitting into your area and capture the attention of maybe somebody who wants to buy or sell now here we have our primary text you always want to speak to your audience and you see uh, out of the previous uh, text we have done and that's new i see that for the first time so you know facebook is changing all the time now they are giving you even uh uh let's let's play with it opportunity knocks price and location so let's see you see here they put it right in here so now they done because we done this previously now they save it and give us a recommendation what i would do opportunity knocks i would now put in here the city to the buyer or seller i am speaking price location photos i wouldn't put the yes you could do a bitly link on here we are doing lead generation i would not put that bitly link in here because now i'm sending off my audiences and i have nothing so i don't do that so uh you could do this when you run traffic and conversion that's when we what we are doing we are repeating our link so that when they click that link they will land on our landing page and now you have low month monthly rent right away 
pets allowed. So that looks like a condominium advertising or an, an association where you need probably rental approval. So um, you always want to speak to your audience, make it nice and enticing because you have three seconds to stop, stop somebody in their feet, what they are doing, what people are doing. They look the picture, they look down here, our headline, the headline is bold. So let me copy it on here. So you see the headline is bold. That's what they are looking and then they are looking the text. So they are striving quickly over and they make the decision in three seconds if that is something that is interesting to you, to them, and if they want to move forward with what you are offering. So you want to make it very, very enticing so that they provide your name, number, and email. So your headline, uh, again, I would put the city in here to who I want to speak. Opportunity knocks for city home buyers. So put your city in there and put home buyers or buyers, first time buyers, however you want to structure. Then we have our call to action where we are now. Call to action is CTA. If you don't know what the CTA is, it's call to action. And now you are able to give them a choice of get an offer, get the quote, learn more, subscribe, apply, book now or download. We are usually going with learn more so that we make sure that we are sending them on a journey they are discovering and we are not telling them directly what to do. And now with hidden lead generation, we are able to set up Insta forms where now our lead generation is within Facebook. And that is the beauty. You don't need a lead generation page. I want to just move really quick uh, uh, show you. Now, those lead forms pull your picture into you are putting in your advertising so that it is concurrent with your advertising that they see it is still the same. So now you can have your um, your text in here. You want to make sure an intro, an enticing headline. You want to make sure that you, again, when they move over, that you are capturing their attention. You want to make sure asking the question, name, number, and email. First, last email and phone number. That's what we are always doing. We ask first for their names, then for the email because it's easier. They feel more comfortable. And the hardest is always to get the phone number. That's why we are putting it at the end. That's why we are going in and slowly asking easy question, one easier, and the next one is easier. Email is a little bit easier, phone number, they think about if they want to give you their phone number. You want to put your privacy in here and you want to complete and you have the option now to include your messenger bot or to send them to your website to call you. We are not recommending to send them somewhere. We are recommending send them maybe to book an appointment, but you need pixels. But what we highly recommend, you put in a link of your messenger bot right in here, where when the lead has signed up, you are now able to start an instant conversation on messenger bot with your new lead. Remember, they signed already up. And then when they signed up, they are getting our thank you. And here you can have a good overview what they are doing. So here is, that's where they are landing. Hey, that is my offer from upfront. Now they provide me name, number, and email. Now they get uh, an overview, our privacy policy, and now you uh, can thank them and have a call to action there as well, where we are now sending them to our messenger bot and we are starting an instant conversation with that lead. So, and that is the beauty of this um, 
of lead generation within Facebook because Facebook now allows you to keep everything in Facebook. That is the beauty of it. And now you can track when you have a website event set up. So we have nothing. That's my test account on here where I show you what we are doing. And now I would put publish in here. And now we are having an advertising ready to go. So I want to give you a good overview again, where we are now have run to all the levels within an advertising. First, you want to think about your audience. That's the first thing I am doing to who I want to speak. And what do I want out of Facebook? Do I want to reach people first so they get to know me? Do I want lead generation? Do I want to build uh, talk to my custom audience or do I want to build new audiences? So that goes all within the objective. Within our ad set, now we select the audience we want to speak to. We place our uh, demographics, the city to who we are speaking to, and we are putting our budget and our schedule. Remember, you can schedule your budget by a lifetime budget, or you can do a daily budget. When you are starting out, I would suggest you are starting with a lifetime budget where you now let Facebook decide what to do and watch your advertising. And when that advertising gives you the results you are looking for, now you can move over into a daily budget. And then within our ad itself, we are just be creative as possible, uh, build something where, pe where, you, where people would stop your advertising and look what you are offering. Keep in mind, you have three seconds to capture your leads or your followers' attention so that they can become a lead, where they are now looking your headline, they are looking your first description lines, and they are looking your picture. And that is what is in advertising. It doesn't is only on Facebook. It's the same principle on Google and YouTube. So those are the same principle. In Google as well, you need to know what you want to get out. You have different objectives there as well. You have lead generation, you have views, you have videos. Depending what you want to do, you have to build your placement as well, where you want people to see your audiences. You have different options in there as well. You can search for keywords, so it's a different platform, but also you want to know about your creatives and about your text, what you are offering. You always want to think about why should people provide me with their name, number, and email. We are seeing now many, many free home evaluation. Believe me, people know they can get a free home evaluation from every realtor, they can go to Silo. So they most likely will not give you their name, number and email for a free home evaluation. So you need to be a little bit more creative with your creative so that you are standing out with your offer. So you want to make sure that you think a little bit what you are offering and why won't people give you their name, number and email. So I showed you a lot today. I hope you got some more understanding about what Facebook can do for you, what advertising can do for you. And before you run even an advertising, test out what or take a look at your account and what is working and what is not working. You only want to um, amplify what is working. So when you see your videos are very, very um, 
your videos, you get a good video view. What I would do, we would put some money behind it and amplify what is working already. So Facebook tells you what is working. So take a look and take a look into your data and Facebook tells you what is working. Other platforms the same, they tell you and now if you want to run advertising, now you want to amplify it, right? Now you push some money behind it, but only where you know what is working already and that is important. So you need to understand your audience, what your audience likes, and you see it, the data is there, and now you can push more information in front of that audience. When you have a lead, I wouldn't stop with anything. Now run more attention grabbing ads in front of them. What I would recommend, you do video view or reach because it is the most affordable to stay in front of those leads so that they see you all the time and when they are ready to reach out to them then to you so that do you are in front of them so you could do it and maybe you give them some guides you give them more uh, tips so you may want to make sure to stay in front of the leads as well you are already having many many times the lead signs up and they forgot already what they signed up for that's where it is very important to stay in front it's the new digital follow-up now we know nobody takes your phone call you could text, we see good response in text messages. So when, some, when you text somebody and you can do it very, very gentle to start a conversation via text. So now when somebody replies to you, now you start a conversation. Same thing applies to messenger bot. If you are reading them through the messenger bot, here, right in there, you can start building a conversation, building a connection, and then it is much, much easier for you to convert that lead into, uh, from the lead within, uh, you convert the lead into a conversation. Now you have a conversation and it's much, much easier for you to convert the lead. You get to know the person who is behind the lead. And now you can, even with Messenger bot, you can ask certain questions so that you can better serve that audience or that lead that had come in. So let me jump into the um, group. If there are any questions for me, you have me any um, every Thursday for one hour. So let me know if there are any questions. So, looks like I turned you out. So, let me see if we have any question in the group. And uh, in here, give me some time. I have to jump into the group. And here we are. All right. So, all right, so there seems to be no question. If you have any question later today, feel free to put them down below so that you understand. I want you to understand and want you to understand what you can do because we see a lot of people want leads, but you don't only want leads. You want leads, they will talk to you, they will react to you, they give you um, a reason so that you can speak to them. So you want to have a follow up into place. You don't just want leads, what you need is lead conversations so that you can start a conversation with your lead. And there are different tools available. You can implement messenger bot text messages so text messages we know work very well messenger bot we know they work in certain areas they don't work in all areas so people are more uh, open uh, on the west coast and on the east coast to messenger bots so 
but you can test and you can find out what is working in your area. So, and especially when you are starting out with lead generation, now you want to, I would recommend you start within Facebook, easiest platform to understand. And when you have that run ready, now you can move into different platforms. So I hope you understood for today what those lead generations, how they are structured on advertising. And remember, in advertising is only a small part out of a fully structured campaign. So we are usually starting our campaign with video views, then we are starting our lead generation, then we have the lead, we are getting different tools where we are now starting text messages, starting our email follow up, starting our messenger bot, and then we are booking them into appointments. We follow up with the lead so that it's a whole structure behind. So you want to have a whole wheel or you want to have a whole line, want to think what, how you start your lead generation, what is the objectives of your advertising, then you build your advertising, and then you want to put something in place where you immediately can follow up with your lead and starting conversations. That it is all about leads you can get anywhere and everywhere. I showed you lead generation, it's actually very, very easy. You can dive deep, deep in so that you not just get leads, that you get higher qualified leads. So there are more tools available where you ask more question a lead. So that means they are a little bit more qualified if they are answering those questions within the lead form of Facebook. So there are different tools available. But if you want to start out and want to test the waters, because the more you adjust your advertising, the more uh, expensive it will get. But what we would recommend, start out with, with uh, testing the waters, see what is working, take a close look on your Facebook business pages. What is working? What are people responding to? So that you are able to tap in there as well. If people watching your videos and uh, you see high video view engagement, just put a little bit more money so that you now get more people watching that video. Now you are building your audience about it and you can use that audiences now in the next step for lead generate. So having better qualified leads. So there are so many uh, things you can do. It is not just putting the ad out there, spreading it out there and now hopefully you get a buyer or a seller that will buy tomorrow. Understand we are in the awareness phase when we are starting out with Facebook. We are getting as many people as possible into our funnel and especially, especially when you also want to make sure that you are collecting name, number, and email because an email and numbers are gold to you because you can reach them in different ways and on different platforms. As well in Google and YouTube, you can build your audiences with people that know you already. So they, especially with the new changes with iPhone, even if they opted out, you are now able to reach them to different meanings when you have their email and number. So there are certain tools available, but that is too much for today. I want you to understand Facebook leads is nothing scary. You need to have an understanding how each platform works so that you get good leads or and that you can move forward and get more customized to lead advertising. So when you have any question, put them down below. I am happy to answer them for you. So uh, put down hashtag replay and now you are able to uh, do those leads. When you are coming in here, we will have all the videos in here for some time. It doesn't help you if you watch the videos. It absolutely doesn't help you.
try to implement what you are learning. Watching the videos is one thing. Putting it into action, implement what you learn. Now you will learn how stuff works. The videos are just to help you and give you a good overview. But if you don't implement there, it's nothing you can do, then you will not get the leads. You will not find out what is working for you and what is not working for you. So make sure you never know what Facebook is doing. Facebook could take down the video. So I am giving you the ability to learn in here for free. So you need to implement, you need to make sure that you maybe take half an hour or an hour out of your day and learn about and try to implement. And then if you have any question, I am here for you put them down below. That is my last word for today. So there are no questions and I cannot help you, right? I cannot help you if you are not able to ask the question. Also, if you want to ask a question, ask a deeper question. Ask a question that maybe not only is that little problem, but maybe would solve your whole problem. So make sure that you take out some time to understand what I am providing you in here. So it should be easy for you to implement because you have the steps. Now, maybe you can uh, share your screen. You can split your screen and now go and get and implement. Go into Facebook. Look how it looks got familiar and now you have in here the step by step that helps you to implement everything what we are doing in our business we also have a membership available where we have everything already set up for you so when that is something you look into reach out to me there are the advertising the creatives the um we are uh, having everything ready for you you just need to take it put it in there, post it, do some demographic for your area and you are ready to go. Those is advertising that is already tested. We know that works, so you don't need to test. You also have me on a weekly basis. You can ask me questions. You have landing pages in there. We have weekly coachings as well. So make sure when that is something that interests you, maybe to reach out to me. We just started the program and we having very, very good results where we are now not only talking about advertising, we are talking about business, we are talking about mindset. So what books you can read, where you get certain information uh, if you want to move forward in your business. So business and lead generation is one thing, how the, your whole business can be increased and grow it's another thing. So if that is something interesting to you, reach out to me. We can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It is not about lead generation, so but it is for you to be able to implement quicker and uh, have a deeper understanding what is going on. All right, guys, if there are no questions, I am very happy about it. So it seems like everybody does does it right. Everybody is doing what needs to be done. And uh, I will take a look uh, down the road. If you are just watching the videos and don't ask your question, I'm sorry, but I cannot help you to understand what you don't understand. If you don't implement, I don't know what you implement and what you don't if you don't ask your question. So that is also for you a little bit helpful because now if you get approached by an advertiser, you know exactly what to look for, what to structure for so that you are getting uh, what you are paying for. That is also very, very important that you understand a little bit. And we see many, many times you don't understand the offer that is put in front of you. And then 
you are complaining and uh, because you didn't take the tools that are available to you. All right, guys, so uh, I have four minutes left. It's your chance now, or you never know if Facebook takes me down, that's it. So you will find me on other platforms. But again, what you learned today, you can implement on Google, Facebook, YouTube, you can implement on different platforms, Instagram, so on social media. Advertising at itself as it stands has the same principle all over. If I am not interested in what you have to offer, if it is not enticing enough, I will scroll through Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapshot, WhatsApp, whatever messenger. So make sure you understand your audience, structure your ads correctly, and now move forward, especially because the ad forms now make it very, very easy for you to speak to the, to the consumer you want to reach. And I don't want anybody complain because you have all the resources in here. Yes, it takes work when you don't watch the videos and implement, you always will be behind and the new next thing is coming up and you need to adapt and adapt and adapt. So you have the choice. Here are you, we are learning together in here. Ask your question down below and then we can move forward when we are talking about a little bit deeper. So for today, I thank you for your time. Thanks for watching this video. I have a one o'clock appointment. So let's jump on it, put down hashtag replay and ask your question and I will come back and answer all the questions you may have containing to advertising and to real estate, whatever. So I try uh, to answer your question. Make it a great and amazing rest of the week. I speak to you next week. Let me know, maybe it's something you want to learn about. Let me know, we always can do a lunch and learn about it. So make sure that you take actions today because anything can change by tomorrow because platform change all the time. Thanks for watching this video. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen. I see you next Thursday, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time.